Hello and welcome back to a new Minecraft Procognition video. So today I'm going to show you how to install a decrypted version of Minecraft Procognition. So if you do not know what that is, or you do not know why you would need one, then don't really worry, this might not be the video that you are looking for right now. Um, but basically a decrypted version of Minecraft Procognition, it allows you to install mods and change the IP for multiplayer, as well as a load of various different things for mod making, as well as various tweaks and stuff that you can do. So it's a very useful thing to have, however it's quite confusing to do for most people. So if you don't know what that means or you don't really need that right now then I guess don't really watch this video at the moment but I will be creating tutorials in the future where I'm going to need this video to come back to instead of carrying on doing the whole thing again. So this is how to decrypt it, I'll go into a lot of detail showing you backing up worlds and stuff like that. So there's one way, there's, there's two different ways actually you can do this. You can either install an um, illegitimate one off uh, installers right here However, obviously this is illegal um, if you don't own it, so I, I wouldn't, I, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit shaky on what to do. I'm not suggesting you go and do that, but I'll also show you the more legal way of doing it. You will need installers anyway, so you might just want to keep installers. So what you're going to want to do is start off with your microprocognition. So at the moment I have a decrypted microprocognition, and um, as you can see I have a world inside it. So I'm going to show you how to back up your world, because you're going to need to do this first. So here's the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, iFile, which you can get on Cydia. So you need to have Cydia, you need to be jailbroken to do this. I don't know if I said before, but you need iFile, installers, and a little program called Terminal. I think it's called Mobile Terminal or something like that. And you're going to need these three, as well as um, something called Clutch. And I'll show you how to do that. We're just going to go to Cydia, and we're going to go and find some apps. Uh, it might take a while to load, because it's Cydia. Uh, ignore all. All essential ones, ignore. So you need something called clutch like this and you're basically going to just download this I think it's clutch yeah yeah you're gonna need this and you can get it from different repos uh, I'll show you the one that I got it from I got it from a repo called where are we uh, yeah. my repo space something like that so yeah all the repos will be in the description below if you wanted to know so yeah, you can see it right there. So if you wanted to get it, it's in the re it's in the description below. So I'd go and look at that for the repos that you need for each of these different files. So install those and just get them done. Now we're gonna go into iFile and back up the worlds. So you're gonna want to open up iFile, it might load a bit, and you wanna go to your applications page. So you can actually just click this little thing right there, I'm just tapping, and it'll take you here. Um, at the first time you come here, you're going to need to go into file viewers, oh wait, where are we, file manager, and then put application names on, otherwise you can get a load of numbers and it's not going to make much sense. So application names are on, and then let's just close this, and how to close this, okay. And we're going to scroll down to Minecraft Population. Um, where are we? Here we are. And you're going to go to documents, uh, games.com mojang, and you're going to copy this file by going select, and then copy link. And then I'm going to suggest you go to somewhere else, so I'm going to go home, into documents, I'm not going to open it. And I've already pasted my previous one here with all my worlds in it, my let's play worlds and stuff like that. So when you've done that, you basically have a backup here. So now you can delete uh, Microprocognition and, it, but I, wouldn't, I don't suggest deleting it yet, we're still going to need this for a sec. Um, and then we're going to open up Terminal. Uh, terminal is basically, imagine, I don't know, imagine command prompt, but I don't know how to get out of this keyboard, we're just going to go like this actually. Doo -doo. Imagine command prompt or CMD. I don't know how to turn this around. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was in rotation lock. And then what we're going to type in is C L U T C H. Oh, yeah, we need to go into root. So we're going to go S U, I think that's it. Then password, it will basically always be A L P I N E, unless you've changed it. And you will know if you've changed it. So when you're in root like this, you're going to just type in clutch. So it's S U. And then you hit enter, then your password, which is Alpine usually, and then clutch. And then as you can see, it will come with all this stuff. And this is all the stuff that you can basically decrypt. Uh, what this app is used for is it's used for decrypting apps to put on installers and stuff like that. So I wouldn't suggest distrib distributing any of the things you make with this app, otherwise that would be illegal. And we're going to type in clutch. Um, you need to make sure that my uh, Minecraft population is here, so we're just going to go... And I can see it, so you should hopefully see that. And then Minecraft PE. Then hit enter. And it will just clutch it. And then it will just say done. And there we go. So it's been clutched to documents, cracked, um, PE, that number. So then we're going to exit out of this. And I'm just going to make it go landscape again. 
and we're going to delete Minecraft. Goodbye, Minecraft. We've backed it up, so it should be good, unless something terrible went wrong. And then we're going to go into uh, Documents. Actually, no, we need to go Home. And then we need to go to Root. So wherever it is, so Root, Documents, Cracked. And as you can see, I've already done 5 point uh, thingamajig, and we're going to need this one here. So let's just Edit, Select, and we're going to Copy slash Link it again. And then, this time, we're going to go to our Documents page. If you don't know where this is, it's in var, mobile, then documents. So, just to let you know. So, documents, and then there. And we need to go into Storeless, and we need to go to Downloads, and then you need to basic Kali. I'm, I'm going to delete this one, because I've, I've already done this before. Move that to Trash, and then we're just going to paste it here. So, as you can see, we have it right here, and that's a really great thing to have. So, um, when we've done that, we're going to exit out of this, and we're going to open up Installless. So, let's just open up Installless. Um, I wouldn't suggest downloading anything illegal, that's bad. Then we're going to go to Documents, and you're just going to click it. Uh, what you first need to do, however, is go to set. I don't think you'll get this unless you do this. You go to Settings, then you need to go something like... Actually, I, th I think you should just be fine. Downloads, then select that, then Install. So now it's just installing, and once it's done, you've had a, you have a cracked version of Minecraft Pocket Edition on your device. And then all we need to do is just, like, you know, update the saves, and we should all be good. So it's just installing. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. It shouldn't take too long. So I don't know. But yes, this is how you do it. Um, I will be putting up a video on how to, as you can see, it's, it's done. How to connect to multiplayer in 0.6.0 really, really, really easily. Just in case this you're watching this from a different version. And then when we've done it, it should be around here. So these are just some random outs my brother's been buying and playing with. So then we're going to go to Minecraft, and as you can see, it's here. So now we're going to go to I file again, and we're going to go to our documents or wherever you put the file. So as you can see, I put it here. We're going to edit, copy, copy slash link even, then done. Then go to our applications, go down to Minecraft again. The applications are in var mobile applications, just in case you're on something where you don't know where it is. So it should all be at the top, as you can see, and then documents. And as you can see, there's nothing here, basically. So you may need to create a world beforehand. So let's go and do that quickly. Let's open this up. Doosh, 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 doosh. Um, create a new world. Just name it something random. Ah, it's not naming anything. Okay, and start. And then, as you can see, it'll just load up a new world. And all the five folders should be correct. And then you need to delete the folder that you um, copied it from. So I will show you just after this has made all the folders and files. You can delete all the files unless you really like the seed, then you can probably keep it somehow. And then we're going to go back to title. Okay, it's lagging a bit. Exit out of that. Go back to iFile. Go to documents. And as you can see, I have all of these. So I got it from .com Mojang, but you'll probably do Minecraft Worlds. So all you need to do, I'm just going to do it like this, is delete this. Bye bye. Then paste this. Hello. And this is going to, this is my, my downloads. My Minecraft files are quite big, so this might take a while to basically put back but once you've done this you've basically got a cracked version of micro population or a decrypted version and you can start modding you can start going on multiplayer you can start doing all the things that you really do want to do on minecraft and that should be it so i guess thank you guys for watching this video please give this video a like there'll be a multiplayer guide up just after this video is uploaded just so you guys know that um what you can do with this the multiplayer guide is really really quick and easy so you should guys probably go and check that out after you've watched this or check that out then see i'm going to link it to this video so then you can do that so there you go we have it in here and all of our files are here so let's just go and check that my let's play file is here that's what i've most been worried about and yes it is so what i've been doing is i've just been like doing some mining but i'll show you all that next video so thank you guys for watching please give this video a like and subscribe so goodbye bye bye